Hey, this is Lee Waller. I'm going to take a quick look at how to animate in After Effects. Any media that you bring into After Effects, you will bring it into the timeline and drop it in as a layer. Each layer is going to have a set of five basic transform properties, anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. To animate any of these five properties, all you need to do is start with the stopwatch next to that property. So I'm going to animate position first. I want to set my first keyframe. To set that first keyframe, I'm going to click the stopwatch. Here in the timeline, After Effects sets that first keyframe. That's where I am in time, and it's recording these properties. 960 by 540, that's where this circle is sitting in the composition. I'm going to move forward in my timeline. Let's say I want a two-second animation. And now I'm going to change these properties. There's two ways I can do that. I can either scrub these numbers to where I want the object to go, or I can come in the viewer, grab the object, and move it where I would like for it to go. After Effects sets that second keyframe once you have changed those properties. So two things need to occur. There needs to be a change in time, and there needs to be a change in the property for that keyframe and that animation to be set. I go back to the beginning, and you see I have an animation. I can continue on. Let's say I want to scale this object through this animation. Again, the thing that I'm going to need to do is know where I want this animation to start. I'll start this animation in the timeline a little bit uh, farther in. And I'm going to click Scale. Set that first keyframe right there by clicking the stopwatch. Then I need to move in time. I'll just end that with this other animation and I'm going to scale down. And I'm changing that property by clicking and scaling that number down. Now we can see that the animation starts and then it begins to scale down and the animation ends. Something to remember is every animation needs at least two keyframes, a beginning keyframe in time where you want that first property to be set and then a second keyframe where you want that animation to end and how you want that property to end. I can also do this one more time with opacity very quickly. If I want to fade this in, I click on opacity. It sets that first keyframe at 100% opacity. If I want it to fade in, I'm going to bring that down to 0% opacity. I'll jump ahead, let's say right there. Um, and bring that opacity back up to 100%. So now this object's going to be moving, fade in, and then scale down. And that is setting keyframes in After Effects. For a more in-depth look at animating with keyframes in After Effects, check out my tutorial, Animating with Keyframes.